The next button we're looking at over here is to draw in a vertical line. What, there are two ways that you can do this. The one is you select the vertical line and you'll see that we have a different icon now for the cursor. And if I just click somewhere, it drops down the vertical line, which marks off a timestamp. The other way to put it down is you select it and then click and hold the mouse button in and then you can move it to exactly where you want to put it and then drop it off. This can be very useful for marking down when a particular news event happened or if you are the type of person who likes having a lot of empty space and you might know that a news event is coming up then you could mark it off over here. Just as a warning to say when this comes up you know there's a news event so get out the market. The next button is a horizontal line which works the same way. You can select it and just click wherever you want and it gives you a price stamp or you can select it click and drag to get the exact price level that you want and then let go. This is very very useful when you're marking down support and resistance lines something will come to later on or even if you're just sort of planning out a trade and you want to see where would I put my stop loss where would I put my take profit then you might just want to use these lines. Now this is one of the key differences between MetaTrader 4 and 5 is that in MetaTrader 4 these lines that we just put down are locked in place but you'll see in MetaTrader 5 you can click and drag them. In MetaTrader 4 you can't do that by default. What you need to do is hover the mouse over whichever line you want to move and double click on it. Now you see on MetaTrader 5 it's backwards. When you have these little square icons at the edges of the lines, it means that they can be edited, they can be moved. When you double click on them, they're now locked into position. So you can't click on it. You have to go back to the line and double click. And this will allow you to move it again. Now this becomes especially important when you're the type of person who likes to keep going back into history. Because if you're going ahead and you're scrolling back into history and you're clicking, very often you accidentally click in one of the lines and move it out of place and you can't remember where to put it back. So my advice to you is once you've selected where the line goes, just make sure you've locked it into place. So you can't accidentally click and drag it out of place. The next button is a trend line. This one works a little bit differently where you select it and then you need to click and drag it to where you want it to go. Once you've selected the trend that you want, you just release the left mouse button. You'll see this line has three different squares. You have your starting point, you have your ending point, and this one will move the entire line. The key difference between MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 is you'll see on, on MetaTrader 4 this line draws to infinity. It just keeps going and going, whereas MetaTrader 5 the line ends. And again, once you have your line in place, you can double click on it and now it's locked into place and it can't be moved unless you select the line again and double click. The next one we have is Equidistant Channel. This is mainly used if you're trying to follow those longer trends or if you're looking at the market and you think well this looks like it might be traveling in a channel you would select the equidistant channel you can kind of click and draw where you think it would go and move it around by using these various different options so then we would move the bottom line up here but we can see that it's not drawing an equidistant channel we can't get this example to fit properly. Now what makes it equidistant is basically these two lines are going to run parallel to each other. So this is why the top line has three different options. So we can move the entire channel around with the middle one. We can change the starting point with the left, the finishing point with the right, and this bottom one here will only change the depth or the width of the channel. 
but it will always remain at the same angle. And again, in order to stop us from clicking and dragging and accidentally messing this up, you just double click to lock it into place. 